my grandfather was driving and, and he said that all of a sudden in the street, you know, there was this like red, you know, flashing lights, like red thing that just dropped down in the middle of the street. Right. And my grandfather, like, he was like a pretty strict guy. I like was in the Navy. Like he was like a tough man. Like, you know, he wouldn't believe just anything, you know, like it just drops down below them. And all of a sudden it just like, like flies to, to like the side and it just disappears like in, in a flash of a second. And there was, there was a guy outside in his porch and he asked him like, Hey, like, did you see that? And the guy was like, yeah, like I saw, I saw that light, you know, those flashing lights and like it was flashing and in a circular motion, you know, you could see like, you know, little dots that would move, you know, really fast in, in like, uh, almost quadratic motion. And, and he said that it couldn't have been a helicopter or, in, or an airplane at, at, you know, at that, because it would form, you know, like L's almost like squares. There has to be another species besides us. Like, maybe they've gone extinct before us or they're no longer around or maybe they're in hiding in another planet or it mind blows me that people believe that we are the only intelligent like species in this whole mm -hmm. galaxy with when like we're finding water on mars and underneath the we're finding those great lakes on mars and stuff and also like the history of like the 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 egyptians with their drawings on the walls like is that just made up like to me yeah. i believe in history and yeah. it just can't be a coincidence you know yeah, yeah and, and it, it makes you think like like you know uh, i I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned that because a lot of the historical you know uh cultures they they a lot of the things that you know or gods that they talked about you know came from heaven you know and that's mm -hmm. the idea of heaven you know and maybe they since they didn't have the uh, technology to fly up in, into the clouds, you know, like we do now, now we know like there's something more past the clouds, right? You know, these signs and, and these stories about gods coming from heaven and, and expecting things to come from, from the sky, right? Uh, you know, there, there's yeah, some truth to it. The sky people, you know, you hear that a lot. They worship sky people back then. I, I was watching a documentary about the Mayan ruins and there was a lot of areas, you know, where they have almost, you know, things created. So, so like a, an aircraft could land or take off. Yeah. They have like these ramps. That. Yeah. You know, yeah, was that like the pyramids kind of thing? Yeah. yeah so well, yeah. It's like in, in the Mayan ruins, the, the temples, they, they would create, uh, they, they found some almost like landing you know, like, like platforms, you know, yeah. platforms. Yeah. When they even talk about now, like if we wanted to replicate the pyramids in Egypt, it'd be almost impossible for us right. to do that, but they're there. So it's not impossible. I mean, someone put those, someone I made guess, those, but they say it's impossible for architects nowadays to do it, even though we're so advanced in technology. Like back then we didn't have the technology necessary to carry boulders with that, you know, to carry them at a, such a distance, you know, and put them in mm -hmm. a specific spot, you know, that, that just, you know, not even like a couple men, you know, could, could carry those big chunks of, 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 um, of rock. And so, you know, it makes you think like, well, maybe they had help from other beings, you know, other beings that can move these rocks or had the technology to move them. For them to be able to move boulders that size up there, it would have to have such a significant ramp with such a slow increase over time, you know, for them mm. to be able to push it up there. But with those significant ramps, there would still be evidence of them to this day. But think about it. We don't see no ramps anywhere. Yeah. We don't see none of that. It's how, where they were positioned in, in the earth, you know, in itself has a lot of connections with energy. And what they were thinking is that, my, that these pyramids were constructed in a way to carry uh, almost like an internet connection where you can I've transport heard that, messages. Like signals back and forth. Uh, yes, signals, yeah. That. Could they have created, because we, we often think that people back then weren't as intelligent as we are now. But the reality is, you know, civilization has always had some level of intelligence. There's always been intelligent people across history, like Plato, um, Aristotle, you know, 
And then Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci, mm, Einstein. Yeah. Who's to say they didn't build complicated crane systems or pulley systems to be able to move those really heavy bricks, you know? See, my question to you about that is they would still be, there would still be evidence of those. I was like, well, what if the cranes are made of wood and string and those would deteriorate since like that, like hundreds of thousands of years later, those would yeah, be. Yeah, but think about fossilized wood. We find that all the time. Wouldn't it just fossilize yeah. over time? The thing about fossilization is it only happens under very certain circumstances. So if, mm -hmm. it, if, if it doesn't get fossilized at a certain time period, it's going to never be fossilized and it'd be destroyed and deteriorated. But yeah, no, like I definitely, well, on that note, I believe in aliens because I believe the universe is too big to not have other life, you know? And we live in the 21st century. I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of crazy that at this point with the technology that we have, we still haven't been able to figure out how exactly these were created. There was no way to cut, you know, back then a rock that big. That Yeah, you know? that size. How you know? can you yeah, cut is... a rock and leave it, you know, precise with the right measurements and that's because to do the whole thing that you know that that would have taken ages hey have y'all heard about this uh this report the fbi released about um ufos yeah i've oh, heard yeah. about yeah. parts of it some would say like this is too advanced for our civilization which it, i mean yeah how much do we actually know that we're being told is true you know exactly yeah so like right here it says in 18 incidents they saw unusual UAP, which UAP is the new term for UFO now. They saw unusual movement patterns of these UFOs and flight characteristics, I guess, that they couldn't explain. Yeah.